Yep, I decided to do a third video. All right, so same village as before. In the second video, I was looking around like, oh, hey, this is cute architecture. I like it, blah, 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 whatever. Aww. At the end of the video, well, I actually ended the video because I got killed. Because I didn't really feel like documenting myself running around and picking up all of the stuff I dropped. Like, seriously, creeper explosion. Why? Because this is basically a cave directly adjacent to the building, the village. This isn't the only one either. I put the torch over there to, um, you know, uh, at least partially ward off monster spawns. But that is going to be the focus of this uh, video. Fixing the place up to be less of a uh, hazard. Here's a uh, cave I made while mining, I think. Yeah, this was me coal mining. I'm not actually sure uh, where the coal went. I may have used all of it uh, placing torches. These. These the village came with. Ones like this also the village came with. Anything that's placed directly on the ground? No. This place had terrible outdoor lighting. Like that. That wasn't uh, there. That wasn't there. That wasn't there. Yeah. This is a location where monsters can spawn inside the village. You can, and that will uh, create a situation where you can get attacked inside the village. Like this area here. This didn't have torches in it. And it's apparently, you know, part of the village is a staircase or something. I don't really understand it personally. But, um, made the village a very unsafe place where you could get attacked during the daytime. Like the creeper explosion, that was daytime. That wasn't at night. Creepers just like wandered out of the uh, cave during the daytime. Like, look at this. That one. Ah, here's uh, another cave that I hadn't um, placed torches in yet. Well, okay, I guess it's part of this same thing here, but... Uh, zombies spawned inside there because it was uh, dark enough for undead to spawn there. Let's put one here. That is a gigantic freaking hole. Oh look, a spider spawned. Yay. Well, the spider's going to stay inside the cave. We don't need to worry about him. And by worry about, I mean hunt down and kill. Oh look, coal. Uh, might harvest that later. Well, if you look on the far side, there's what I'm pretty sure was iron, but eh, don't need it right now. Anyway, so Aww. yeah, I suppose I should make some more. Who need four? Exactly. Okay, five, six. Oh, right. Um, yeah, 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 I didn't work on it. Okay, anyways, though. Oh, more torches than I really needed. Well, whatever. I have them. All right, so. Now what to do? Well, the next step here. 
first off, we need to have enough lighting inside the village itself. That's the first step here. Then you make a perimeter outside the village. What I have currently is very haphazard. And just me picking out spots that had particularly bad lighting and dealing with those and not actually doing a concerted effort to make, ensure everything is properly lighted. Here's the crafting benches, not this one. Yeah, I really haven't done much in this village, honestly. I think I've actually recorded almost all of the time I've spent in the village in general. Ah, uh, whatever. Nope. Oh, come on. I remember seeing several crafting benches. Alright. So, going to make cobblestone fences. Oh, and put this back. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you hold a map with both hands, you get a much larger view of it, but yeah, I am uh, that much farther north than the village. Because the, the village that I was starting in is actually a, only a little bit to the east, but it's an entire map sheet south. And this is like the largest scale maps. All right, so uh, one thing I'm going to be doing as part of this renovation is uh, rejiggering lighting inside houses because I'm going to need a lot of torches and some of these houses have like three or four times as many torches as they need. All right. Yeah, like I said, perimeter lighting. All right, so uh, for the starting point for doing a lighting scheme, the villages, I like to find the bell and just make concentric circles outwards from that. See, here we have the bell. This actually has six torches on it. Some ver uh, versions of this don't. I may have placed that torch there. I'm not sure. Whatever. All right, so for this bell, I'm going to use these upright posts here as the grid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why do I do seven? Well, to be honest, seven is kind of overkill. But it gives you good coverage. And it, even if you don't necessarily have a perfect implementation having a little bit extra coverage is better than not enough okay so the next one needs to go right here also i'm going to make these pumpkins go away because now they're seriously blocking the uh, walkway. Anyways, so having a torch here. Now move down seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could put it here or I could just go over one and place it here. Which is actually very close to the locations where this stuff was already. I'm gonna harvest that one. Okay, let's look around the side here. One above the entryway, one over here, two in this corner. Don't need two in this corner. Although, honestly, as large as this uh, particular building is, they definitely need more than one torch for interior lighting. More so because it's not a simple room and it actually has a bit of complexity to it. 
could probably get away with only two torches, but whatever. I don't feel like doing that much work. All right, so this one. Uh, got that. Now we go across here. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh no. Yeah, this takes a while. I'm going to go to this house down here. Closest one, and I'm about to be doing this side of town anyways. Excuse me. Thank you. Because, as I mentioned, part of the problem with this village is that it doesn't have adequate lighting. I wouldn't want to be outdoors at night here because it's not safe. Which was actually the entire problem uh, in the previous video is I got killed because I got mobbed by four zombies. Two of them child zombies at night in the village. Yeah. That sucked. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, well, we have one here, so that one's close, close enough. Oh, yeah, this is me placing a torch for uh, coverage. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Um, you now if I had a lantern, I could just hang it uh, from there, but uh, I'm going to put a touch here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another torch here. Now, I'm not sure whether zombies actually spawn on this sheet of ice. So I'm not sure uh, if we actually need to go to the time and effort of lighting the entire sheet of ice. That gets problematic quick. Because if you just place a torch on the ice, the torch will melt a hole through the ice, then fall through the ice, and then the hole will freeze over again. It doesn't work. So you have to do stuff like put a stone block there, put the torch on top of the stone block. And then the area around the stone block melts, but the stone block doesn't fall because Minecraft physics. Okay, so the actual block was there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we already have one above the door. You know, what? I'll move it down one block there. One, two, three, four, five six seven very edge of the water slash ice sheet whatever all right one two three four five six seven now it's only one block off so let's see go one two three four five six seven it would go right here. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to put one there. Yeah, see, see what I was saying about it melting holes in the ice? It might not melt this one because there's a stone pillar there. But yeah, definitely the ones beside it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, at first glance, you're like, oh, that's outside the area we need. Uh, no, it's not. Because this is a house. Yep, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I just threw down stuff earlier. It wasn't really measuring it, but quite frankly, having one in this corner is a good idea, so I'll just leave it here for now. 
again, just something I threw down at random. Let's see here. I'm going to count this. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey! It was uh, almost on grid. One block diagonally. Yeah, measuring this grid, um, one, you don't really need to have a, a perfect grid. The, 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 the whole point of making a grid is to be able to be certain you don't have gaps. It's the gaps that are the problem. And as long as you have adequate lighting, you know, whatever. And, yeah, that is a good place for one there. All right. One, two, three. Again, I am, um, yeah. I just happened to put it almost uh, on grid. Cool. So, that's good. Now, one of the things with this, it, uh, stuff like this is just why. But I'll figure out which of those need to go after I uh, expand the grid. Here's another thing that's severely annoying. Now, the interesting thing about having these branches here is regular zombies can't spawn under this tree because of the fact that the branches are too low. I think child zombies can, though, and this might actually be the reason why I ran into two of them last time. And trees like this, if, if they're in town, you definitely, definitely need to have light sources to illuminate the area underneath them. See, see how much dimmer it is than the rest of the area? Yeah. Anyway, though. All right, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is actually over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which, you know what, for this one, ask ah, it. Yeah, that one got moved to block the left, so put on that. Okay, here, let's go uh, this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because one of the problems uh, that you will quickly encounter is that you need to have torches on the back side of all the houses. And honestly, I would recommend uh, two or three rows of perimeter fencing if you want to be actually safe from enemies. Because enemies will spawn just outside torch range whatever the torch range is. If torch range is greater than the aggro range of enemies, then you're safe. If not, well, you aren't safe. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, about there. Yeah, like the real secret here, but but with the uh, having a, a grid of seven is, like I said, too much is better than too little, and it's honestly very hard to be certain what is too much when you have variable terrain. I mean, trees cast shadows. Uh, did you just have a zombie spawn because the tree cast a shadow? Uh, it can happen. Like, like I was saying about the mine and what got demonstrated when the zombie spawned at random is that anything that's dark enough will give you stuff. Like this spot here. This is a little too dark for me to be comfortable with it. Oh, 
else. It's still too dark. I don't like it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like that over there. That's a great place for zombies to spawn. Great. Great place for zombies to spawn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. That's great. One, two, three, four. Alright, which is the right one? Okay, not that one. And it's getting late again. Yeah, doing this stuff takes a lot of time. I could make the video long enough to do this for the entire village, but, well, I haven't gotten to the whole, like, uh, perimeter fencing part of it yet. Why is this area so... Oh, right. I need to have another one here. Oh, uh, well. But yeah, it's like, that was an area where zombies could have spawned to attack me. No, thank you. Alright, well, I guess I did here. Yeah, was, um, I hope you uh, guys found this uh, useful for... I thought I heard a skeleton. Oh, well. Anyway... Hope you guys found this useful. I will talk to you later.